What's up guys, if you want cheap, fast, and reliable MT, and you want to get those spotlight challenges done, hit up my new sponsor DVDJ and use code YOURBOYBUGS for 10% off a checkout. And yeah man, check them out. What's good guys, if you want cheap, fast, and reliable NBA 2K20 My Team coins, head on over to NBASafe.com and use code BUGS for 5% off at checkout. What's good YouTube, it's your boy Bugs back on another NBA 2K20 My Team video, and guys, today... We're going to go over some market talk as per usual, man. We got a lot to talk about. A lot of stuff is going on. So, in the game, honestly, we could see content today. They did drop the curry packs last week. That's possible. Before we get into the video, please drop the like, drop the sub. Let's get 100 likes on the video for some MT giveaways and whatnot. As you can see, my MT is up, and I'm about to have 500k once I do sell the Shaquille O'Neal. But yeah, man, I'm um, thinking about doing the Dwight Howard... Um, collection if you guys really want to see that also let me know in the comments down below we're gonna go over the market do our thing grind out the game we're gonna have a video later as well and uh yeah if you guys don't follow me on twitter we do the giveaways on there so make sure to go follow my twitter and uh yeah so we do got the new chris stops in the game honestly this is pre-recorded so i don't know if they're gonna drop content today if they do i will let you know all i'm gonna say is in this video is some things about the market and what you should sell, what you shouldn't sell, and whatnot. Pretty much just a simple tip video for you guys that you guys really should know. And it would help you guys. So, let's get into it. Before we get into it though, token market update I think is coming this week. Honestly, it's been way too long. These players are so outdated. This Chris Mullen is outdated by an Amethyst Any card. So, these cards, bro, are literally rubies. Like the Jeff Green ruby would stomp on these guys literally stomp on these guys so if you have these pink diamonds and you're using them you're doing something wrong that's all i'm gonna say but yeah so market is pretty high like right now with the new chris stops with the new cards really it did nothing to the market like straight up nothing terrible terrible and honestly this chris stops price right here actually did drop so i knew it would this moment's Chris Tops is better, but honestly, he should go up again. He really has so much value. He was never really in the game. I mean, like, he was never really in packs for that long. So, honestly, next, next time I see him drop, it's probably when they drop the Super Packs or the next Prime card. Like, once the fourth one drops, before the fifth one comes out, they do, do drop Super Packs, downgrading the odds. So, honestly, I might be selling mine right when that goes up. Right now, market is rising. So, if you do have most cards, you should be able to sell. We're going to go over a lot of things. And also, I heard that Shane Milton is really good. And if you guys need him as a budget baller, I would recommend getting him. Like, this card's really good. Really cheap, bro. He's money. His jump shot's good. He can even somewhat dunk. For the low price of, what, like 20k, if that. He's pretty freaking solid. But yeah, right now, I just want to talk about some cards. Like, honestly, I usually base off the market off a couple cards because other value. Like, Zion Williamson is a good card based off value. Why do I say that? Because there's not a lot of it, a, a lot of Zions in the game. With Zion being over 100k, you know that he, the market's rising. Because every time Zion isn't over 100k, the market is somewhat down. When his price rises, he's up. And as you can see, there's only an hour left on one card. Like, that means there's a lot of players that are up. Carmelo Anthony, another player that I'm going to say is expensive. Why? Carmelo, I got him for 80k. He's going for around 95. I got one with a limited shoe and a limited contract. If I sell him now, I'm going to make a lot of MT. Personally, I don't want to sell him. But honestly, next market crash, he's probably going to be around 70,000 MT. It goes for a lot of cards. Right now, almost every single card in the game is that expensive. So if you just pretty much take my advice and sell most of your cards now, you're going to make a lot of MT. It's really that simple. Pink Diamond Aaron Gordon is up a lot. If he's... Let's see... Aaron Gordon, 90, no way. All right, so this car was literally no lies, 72K, literally, I would say two days ago on Friday or Saturday, 72K, almost back up to above a buy now. Like I said, man, if you guys don't know this filter, power forward moments, it's literally, literally money. And yo, I don't know, it's freaking money filter. Only thing you gotta worry about, pretty much if you get anything on this filter besides the man Aaron Gordon, it's money. So I'm probably gonna send this filter, Pretty good. Anything that pops up is a snipe besides Aaron Gordon, unless you do get him for the low low. But yeah, this card is pretty solid. I would honestly try sniping him out on this filter. I really do like this filter. You get Zion, Giannis, or the new Kawhi. 
And yeah, it's pretty solid. Also, another Phil Dugasha rep is simply just Paul George buyout because he's actually like kind of pullable. Like I pulled him myself. And if you can snipe him out, you can make 80K. And honestly, I've seen a ton of snipes on him. I really do recommend you try this filter. Also, bro, the Galaxy Oval filter has been popping. With all these new cards out, if you get one of these cards, you're dubbing out. Not only that, Galaxy Obos are rising like a lot. Since there is only what, like five, six, seven auctionable ones, Curry's about to be like 300 something K. So if you want to sell your Curry, I will go ahead and sell him. I don't see him dropping until the next market crash. But then again, with 2K dropping Opals, next market crash could be tomorrow. You never know what could go down. Pretty much every time they drop an Opal is an automatic market crash. So you always got to keep that back in your head. That's why today, I should say, I'm probably going to drop this video early just so you guys can sell your players. And that's why I said yesterday as well, you should continue to sell your players because if you continue to sell your players, you're going to make a lot of MT. And also, Tracy McGrady is literally up. I mean, he was up, he was down to 450. D-Rose was at 180. They all rose. Like, I'm telling you, bro, right now is a great time to sell your team. You're probably not going to see Matthew's prices ever again. It's only a matter of time before Opals do drop. And honestly, I think my Pink Diamond Tracy might be a lot, a lot of money. So we're going to check his price. If you want to sell your Tracy, bro, 170 is a snag. Like, if you can sell him for 170, the Opal could be like 400 in no time. Once that Tracy's 400 in no time, you pretty much only need an extra 200,000 MT to get the Opal. Also, Kevin Durant. I think Kevin Durant, I have a bad feeling his price is going to drop. Like, it's going to go up, but then the next Mark Crash is going to make a drop. And then I have a feeling they're going to drop some bogus locker code with a chance of getting his pack and driving his price down. One of them, Kristaps, Waiter, Durant. One of those three, I feel like, are going to get lowered. Two of those three, I should say. Pink Diamond, Wade, and Perzingis are pretty much outdated at this point. Like, I do not like the Wade anymore. I think he's really garbage. I don't know. It's my opinion. I really think that they're going to go down in price a lot. So if you do want to sell, I would kind of recommend. And also, also remember, if you have the whole set and you're not planning on doing the set... Like, let's say you have KD, you, so you have the whole set, KD, Wade, and Przingis, and they drop a locker code for Wade, his price plummets. You know what happens to KD and Przingis? Their prices rise like crazy. So, honestly, I have the whole set. I know eventually I'm going to take an L at least one or two of the players, but I know that I'm going to make a, pretty much your MT back because one of those cards is going to go up a lot. And honestly, I think KD might be the player to go up. They're, gotta, they're probably going to just drop the price of Przingis. I think they tried doing that by releasing the new moments. Like, clearly they have tactics. They didn't drop Embiid for a reason. We're probably going to see an Embiid very soon. They obviously have tactics, bro. I can't stand them. They did, they just, Giannis just broke a record. They have something in plan, bro. They're probably going to drop a crazy, insane Galaxy Oval Giannis. Like, honestly, possibly for the Prime card. But then again, it's small forward, power forward. Can it be a Galaxy Oval Giannis? If it is... I'll probably be the happiest man alive. Like, I, if you don't know, I'm the biggest Giannis fan on this planet. I love Giannis. So, we'll see what's going on. Right now, I literally, like, pretty much any card you have, go ahead and sell. Wow, I just missed the LeBron bid snipe. That's such a L. Yeah, bro. I actually no, I didn't. But, yo, right now, simply sell your cards. Let me know what's going on with the market. If you guys have any snipe tips, anything in general, bro, like, let me know what's going on. And if you want to pick up some cards, stack them out, let me know in the comments. I'll answer your comments. Pretty much, there's just so much to do in the game. And I'm honestly just waiting for another market crash. Just get your MT up. Once the market crash comes, once new fire packs come out, you pretty much just got to buy everything you see. Like, there's literally nothing else. Like, 30 minutes after the packs drop, just go on the market, buy whatever you see. You'll make MT, guarantee. That's literally it. There's really no methods. It's just simply market crash, wait three days, sell your team. That's literally what I've been doing. That's why I have so much MT. It's simple. Have MT to make MT. That's why I say sell cards now. It's pretty self-explanatory. But anyways, I hope you guys did enjoy the video. And once again, if you don't follow my Twitter, go follow that. If you guys do like my videos, please drop the like. I hope you guys did enjoy. Have a good one. Peace. If you're looking to buy a stacked NBA 2K account with max badges and more, visit SportsTMB.com. He has been in the community for years and has hundreds of reviews. Click the first link in the description to get your account today.